Hi there, Martin Priestley here from Urban Wildlife Tips and if you're relatively new to mothing you might have heard of the term sugaring and wine roping but what is it? How do I do it? Well come with me and I'll explain all about it with friendly advice and some useful tips. So let's break it down into three parts. Part one is all about ingredients. How do you mix the solution? And part two is about tips on where to place the mixture and how to place the mixture. And part three, the best bit, is observing the moths when you come out with your torch and also identifying them. So let's get started. So we need to go into the kitchen and I've got a nice bottle of red wine. Let me explain. Right, so let's talk about the ingredients. Uh, you need some red wine. I always tend to buy a good quality red wine rather than cheaper because you can always drink it afterwards. So that's uh, the red wine that you need. Um, brown sugar, don't use white. Uh, this is dark uh, sugar. You can have used lighter dark sugar. Uh, that's still uh, very good. And one of my ingredients that I like to use is a good quality strawberry jam. Uh, I'm going to put all, all these into here. So we're going to use a small microwavable uh, jug and we're going to put a small amount of red wine into here. Not a lot, you only need a small amount. Put that back. I'm going to pour the sugar in, not all of it, but a good quality of it. And then we're going to start mixing that. Can you, don't be afraid because we want a nice, thick substance. And that's good. And that's getting quite thick now. That's what we're going to be looking at. I'm now going to put some strawberry jam in and we're going to carry on mixing. Yeah, so we're going to now put it in the microwave for around about 45 uh, seconds. Uh, like I said before, I'm not going to boil it. But what we need to do now is just to leave it and let it stand on its own, right? Don't put it in the fridge or anything like that. So we'll leave it now and I'll probably leave that. We'll go back to stirring it every now and again because the, the sugar will start to crystallise. Are you with me, right? Um, but I'll leave it then for about a day. Yeah, now uh, we also mentioned about wine roping. I don't do too much of wine roping but you may, may want to do. And, and again, all, all you do is very simple. Just get a, a, a rope um, and put this mixture on it uh, and work it into the all to the fabric and then just hang it up on a tree or a fence or, or anything like that. So it's exactly the same. Uh, there's no difference at all, but you can have a go at both if you want. It's not a problem. So the next step now is, as I said, we're going to leave this now at least a day and then we're going to go outside and I'll film outside and we'll, we'll do it at night uh, and we'll see what, what we actually find, what moths are attracted to the mixture. So it's uh, time now then to put out the mixture. Now I like to do this just before dark but because we're filming I'm going to be doing it quite early on in the evening. And what we're going to be putting it on with is a clean paintbrush, right, or a pastry brush. Either is fine but I'm going to use the, the, the paintbrush. So we'll just pop that down. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to uh, use two or three different species of trees because that might attract different t uh, types of moths. Are you with me? I'm also going to use trees that principally have got rough bark because then the mixture will stop on. Right? So all I'm going to be doing is dipping the mixture in and I'm going to be doing it in small squares. And I'm going to be rubbing it in like that just and then we'll do the other side as well this is the problem that I was the reason why is because it's now attracting wasps so uh, and that's because we're doing it early but it just shows you how potent this uh, mixture is so now we're going to come to this hawthorn tree again it's got the nice rough bark and again as soon as I put it on, because we're early, the uh, the wasps are coming uh, again. But it just shows you 
how important this uh, this uh, solution is and we'll see how uh, how things go So as we can see, um, the mixture has been a huge success. Uh, managed to uh, attract 14 different species of moths in the three nights that I, uh, that I did it. But uh, sadly, I didn't uh, attract the, uh, the red underwing, which is relatively fairly common here, uh, and a stunning moth. But that's the joy of uh, sugaring. So just a couple of points before I, I, I go. Um, one, remember that um, the moths I attract here will be different to the ones that you attract because it's all down to geographical, let me say that word, geographical location and habitat. So please leave a comment uh, if you've had some success with the, uh, the mixture I've done uh, or if you've added a different ingredient and you've attracted something. Uh, if you leave a comment, other mothers then can, can look at my web, uh, website and get more information uh, uh, from that. So uh, I'm going to get off now, but I'd appreciate if you could press the subscribe button uh, and I shall see you in the next video. Take care.